your first Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. Great to have you with us here on News 5 after the game. A beautiful start to our day today. Nothing but blue sky and sunshine. None of those clouds built up over the higher elevations. Thunderstorms rolled off the Rockies here across parts of the city. Not a whole lot of water with those thunderstorms in most neighborhoods. In Pueblo, that's what it looked like throughout the day today. Morning sunshine, afternoon clouds. And that was a thunderstorm just off to the north of the city, but most neighborhoods in town stayed dry. 59 right now. We've got partly cloudy skies. North breeze at 12 miles per hour. Pueblo crystal clear. It's still mild out there. 65 degrees, but a north wind at 17 miles per hour. All right, here's what's going to happen around here for your Tuesday. Another beautiful morning around here. 65, 66 degrees during the mid morning hours. Nothing but sunshine by afternoon, though, as we start to cook up some of that available moisture in the atmosphere. Thunderstorms will develop over the higher elevations, and as usual, they will push off the higher elevations across the I-25 corridor. Not out of the question to see one or two severe thunderstorms again tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Some of those thunderstorms will have hail, heavy rain, and all, as always this time of year, look out for that dangerous cloud to ground lightning. Everything shuts down along the I-25 corridor after sunset tomorrow evening. Severe potential, highest out east of Colorado Springs in Pueblo. Storm Prediction Center giving it about a 5% chance of seeing those severe thunderstorms with large hail, damaging wind, and as always this time of the year, lightning is going to be a big problem with any storm that develops. Pueblo 86 year afternoon high temperature today out at the airport. A little over a trace of moisture and average high this time of year is 83 degrees. In Colorado Springs, 79 today. Five hundredths of an inch of water out at the airport. We were a little warmer than what we should be this time of the year. Across the state of Colorado, it was just downright hot across the lower Arkansas Valley. Lamar, the state's hot spot this afternoon at 92 degrees. Across some of the higher elevations, starting to melt some of that snow up there. Aspen hit 71. Leadville, 10,000 feet in elevation. An afternoon high temperature of 61 degrees this afternoon. Outside right now, it's very comfortable out there. We've got 50s, 60s, and 70s. Walsenburg and La Junta still at 70 degrees. We're in the 50s and 60s along the rest of the I-25 corridor. Low temperatures tonight very pleasant. We'll have clearing skies all across the viewing area after midnight tonight. No wind to speak of, mainly calm conditions, so get out and enjoy those pleasant temperatures. Afternoon highs tomorrow. Just about perfect for this time of the year. Close to what we had today, 70s and 80s, morning sunshine, then those afternoon thunderstorms develop. Wind will get strong and gusty if you get around any thunderstorm activity. In Colorado Springs, next seven days, we'll be in the 70s. We're going to cool down by Wednesday. Thunderstorms could produce moderate to even heavy rainfall in some areas on Wednesday. I'll be watching those burn scars very closely for the possibility of flash flooding. My main concern is going to be down south across that spring burn scar near the Kuchara area. Any rain that falls there could easily create some flash flooding, but in the springs, thunderstorms again Thursday and Friday afternoon. Drier air pushes in Saturday. We're going to see a pretty healthy cold front move in by Sunday. Could see a thunderstorm late on Sunday, but the bigger story is going to be that high temperature cooling all the way down to 68 degrees. And in Pueblo, if you like it wet, Wednesday is your day this week. Very good chance of seeing some beneficial soaking rain and thunderstorms. Still an isolated thunderstorm possible on Thursday. You'll enjoy unseasonably cool air midweek week before things really start to heat up a little preseason sample of summer on Saturday. 90 degrees the afternoon high temperature, but that healthy cold front blasts through early Sunday morning, so you'll be 15 degrees cooler on Sunday. Better chance of seeing some thunderstorm activity again by next Monday. And in Canyon City, a very similar pattern. You get highs in the 70s and 80s over the next seven days. Isolated thunderstorm possible tomorrow. A better chance of seeing some thunderstorms on Wednesday with some decent rainfall in the forecast, so hang tight on the watering. I think Mother Nature will do it for you on Wednesday. Just isolated thunderstorms Thursday and Friday before that much warmer, drier air pushes in again by Saturday. And in Woodland Park, you were dealing with snow this time last week. None of that in your forecast, but it's going to be unseasonably cool on Wednesday. Rain showers, thunderstorms, a high of only 60 degrees. In fact, I'll keep thunderstorms in your forecast through Friday. Maybe squeezing in a dry day Saturday before that cold front comes in. Drops you back to 58 degrees on Sunday with more thunderstorms. So, guys,